that's funny. My wife and I, every time the end of the summer comes and you gotta button up the motorcycles and put them away and button up the camper and you're packing away your shorts and muscle shirts, and then the weather turns cold. Why do we live here? You know, you're thinking winter, cold, wet, snow. Why? Why do we even live here? But the truth is, you know, this is nice. This is great. You know, there's times when it's really miserable to have to deal with the snow and cold, but you know, I'm dressed for it. I'm out hiking in it. It's pretty, it's different. I would miss it. I would miss it if we didn't have the four seasons. So, so you know, and I think if we lived someplace where it was warmer, we'd gripe because we didn't have snow or it was too hot in the summer. So all in all, I've lived most of my life northeast Ohio here. I just have a feeling this is where we'll stay. So I was traveling this week. I travel a fair amount for work. My company has plants kind of sprinkled between Chicago and Philadelphia. Con highest concentration of them is in Northwest Indiana. So I'm out there quite a bit. I was out there earlier this week for a couple of days. It was one of those rare trips where I actually didn't have full days of things to do. I had a, two half day meetings on two days. So I had two half days that weren't heavily loaded with stuff to do. The first day I'm out there, I had my meeting in the morning and got back to my room and checked some email and did a little bit of work. Got to be about three o'clock and I thought, heck, I'm gonna take advantage of this uh, kind of light workload between the holidays and get out. So the hotel I stay at out there, there's a park right next to it, fairly new I think, called, uh, I think it's called Coffee Creek Preserve. It's not huge, but it's very nice. It's got uh, some nice walking trails, probably three or so, four maybe total miles of hiking uh, and varying types of path surfaces. Anyway, so I thought, uh, I think I'd like to go take a little walk. And uh, I realized I hadn't brought a hat or gloves with me on the trip. It was pretty cold. It's about 40 here today. Yesterday or day before out in there, it was in the high 20s. But the sun was out and I thought, how the heck with it? If my ears and hands get cold, they'll get cold. So I got myself a hot cup of coffee and I headed off and I hiked, I'm guessing about two miles, two and a half miles around this park. It was really nice. I hadn't walked it in the winter. I'd walked it once or twice in the summer. Uh, it was nice. I snapped a few pictures on my cell phone along the way. And uh, it was nice to get out when I'm on the road. I'm going to try to do more of that, I think when I'm traveling. You know, you work all day and you get back to your room, you get something to eat, and then you're just kind of wiped out for the day. So you sit like a blob watching vlogs on YouTube or Family Guy reruns on TV. But I, you know, I'd like to get in the habit of getting out as much when I'm traveling as I do when I'm at home. Do something about this beer belly that I'm building on here. So yeah, that was nice. And then the next day I was driving to another plant, which is about an hour away, kind of on my way home. And uh, it's in uh, South Bend, Indiana, or near South Bend, Indiana, which is a lot of flat farm country. And uh, apparently, this happens quite a bit out there, but they had had a heavy dew or a fog real thick the night before, and the temperature dropped well below freezing, and all the trees just kind of got coated, not in ice, but in these ice crystals, kind of hard to explain, but the trees were just beautiful white. But they weren't covered in snow to the point where you couldn't see the tree itself. 
So it was this white tree, but you could still see the dark color of the tree itself. There's kind of a skeleton underneath it. And the sky was blue and the sun was shining. They were beautiful. I had never seen anything like it. So I'd look off across this big white snow-covered farm field and there'd be this bank of these trees uh, all white with these kind of dark skeletons showing through. It was really neat. So this is a spot that we always stop with the dogs when we're walking so they can, there's a little pool here in the creek where they can swim a little bit, get a drink of water. As you can see, it's all frozen over now. So they're not going to get much of a drink. But I think with all the snow, they can scarp up some snow and rehydrate. It's funny, as we're walking, they, they know. They're always a bit ahead of us, and they know this is coming, and they're here before we are. Yeah. All right, girls, let's move on. Depending on how far we walk, we'll encounter a couple other spots where we stop pretty often for them to drink and play a little bit. 